What's up guys? I'm up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. I got a 1986 Monte Carlo and we're getting ready to go for a test drive. I'm gonna start her up, pop the hood, let you check that out. Starts right up with cold AC. Got a good sound to it. Little 305, like I said, the AC works good. Let's go for a test drive. All right, we're gonna take her down the road. The door, gotta pull on it a little harder to get it to shut. These are big, heavy doors. We got the AC off at the moment. But it does work pretty good. Uh, the windows are kind of slow. They go up and down pretty steady, though. I haven't noticed them getting slow or anything. All right, we're going to take off down the road. I see the RPM gauge is working. Uh, looks like our temperature gauge is starting to come up. Our oil pressure is working right at 30. Our voltmeter is working, and the gas gauge works on this. I know they did. They done went to the gas station and put gas in it for us too, so that's a good thing. Speedometer's coming up. This car's nice and smooth running down the road. Horn works. And we got a seat belt, so I'm gonna put it on. Let's try our radio. It does work. If I let go of that steering wheel though, we're pulling to the right a little bit. I'll check my tire pressure when I get back. Make sure we ain't got a low tire over there. Otherwise, it's going to be a front end alignment. Uh, windshield wipers, they do work. See if we got a kick down here. Kick down's hooked up. The car feels good. Got plenty of power. Let's try our brakes. Very nice brakes. They're not pulling to the left or right. And they stop like you want them to. So that window over there works too. Y'all are going up and down with me. <laughs> Our temp's coming up to about the right temperature. I'd say it's probably a 170 right now. Get a good launch out of here. Car feels pretty good. Really dark tint. Pulling hard. Got plenty to go. Turn signals blinking on the dash, and I can hear it clicking. Steering's nice and smooth. As soon as I turn, it turns. So we got nice tight steering. Suspension feels good. The throttle's nice. Pretty good running and driving car. Now I just want to watch my gauges. Take a little bit of a long test drive and make sure we don't have no problems. It's really nice having all the AC components hooked up. That way if it's real hot, of course today it feels great. So shouldn't need the AC.
Okay, let's get the AC back on. I'll tell you what, I'll save it where we can have. Man, it feels so good though. I was gonna go ahead and roll the passenger window down. That way you can actually hear the car instead of the AC unit blowing. Get us a little takeoff here. Well, maybe. 20 cars coming. Let's go to the right. We're gonna go a different route today. So far, this car seems to be running and driving good. I've had it running for a little while. We're not overheating. We're not even getting close. The oil pressure still standing strong at 30. It's showing uh, 17,414 on the miles. Probably turned over. It's probably 117 condition of the car. Could be 217, but I doubt it. This thing runs and drives too nice to have that many miles on it. I can hear the brakes squeaking a little bit. But they don't feel bad, so. Like I said, it's pulling to the right a little bit. feels pretty good this is a back a really bumpy back street we got over here Trying to bypass all the traffic so we don't have to sit around too much. This year it has even a system on the dash where it shows the uh, oil lights, temp lights, the check engine lights. None of that's on. It's 
got power locks. Let's try this side. And they seem to work. This button's gone over here for the power locks. Probably have to order one on eBay or something. We're coming up on a huge bump in the road so we can check the suspension up here. We're at about 30. And I'm starting to think that that tire may have been low. Because we're not really pulling to the right anymore. It was doing that. We'll hit this main street up here and find out. pulling to the right anymore. I may have had a low tire and the tire heated up in some pressure. Maybe been a flat spot in the tire. I... Alright guys, this is going to conclude my test drive. If you have any other questions, you can give us a call. 615-822-4444. Please share, please subscribe to this channel. I post videos like this every single day. We've got a ton of new cars in in the last week. Check my website out. You can get 100 detailed pictures of this car or any car on the lot. I appreciate y'all watching. Thanks again, guys. All right, I have noticed on this car, it does smoke a little bit out of the left exhaust pipe. She started up. So there's no smoke right now, but if you start revving on it. Well, it tries to not do it for me when I try to show y'all what it's doing. Maybe I'll let it run for a second. We'll come back around and hit it again, see if I can get it to do it. This left, left tailpipe, when I got back, I noticed there was a little bit of smoke creeping up around the car. But I didn't want to leave that out because that's kind of big, especially if you show up and it starts doing it again. Could just be dripping down in the exhaust every once in a while and causing a problem where it's coming out. It doesn't cause any issues when you're running and driving down the road. Hey, Pops. Can you hold this camera right here and show the exhaust while I rev it up? Just kind of hold it right there. It did when I got back, no, but it don't, now. it don't now. All right, guys. Well, it's trying not to do it. It's trying to prove me wrong. But I did see it, and I wanted to let you know about it. It wasn't heavy smoke, nothing like that. Just a little white cloud. Looked like it was burning off some oil. But all right, guys. Appreciate y'all watching.